Hi, I'm Photon EM, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. We're playing on Iridio Hardest Settings, and this is episode 25. And we are um, tuning in right now to see that this is ready, except for just uncapping it, so I wanted to do that part together. For the for the water, I put snow and ice in here. So there's about two tons of snow and ice. For these, I did not put water here. I was going to try snow and ice, but I wasn't sure, and I was just waiting to see what I was going to need. But there must have been some snow in this debris. Um, because for some reason it's 22 degrees around here. Even like over here it's, um, what, negative, uh, negative 18-ish. Over here it's negative 60, and here it's 22, or no, it's 30, so I don't know. But whatever, it's fine. Um, so this has been idle for a long time, um, so it's probably about to go dormant, which is too bad. Um, and um, I guess we don't really know until we study it when it's going to erupt next, so um, hopefully not while, I sh while I'm showing you this other stuff. Um, so I did send my researcher to here and picked up an artifact um, and did some more telescope business. Um, and next I think I'll send him here, get the artifact and we can do, we can uh, telescope out to here and find out what this is. And then we're gonna go watch this, so we can go ten dials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll land here on Soilano. I don't have it completely set up, but it'll be easy to finish setting it up. Um, and uh, so that's this one, the Skylab. Um, so now I just, the only thing that's missing here is the food. <laughs> Let's see how much food we actually have. 7,000 calories. I kind of forgot that on the hardest settings they eat 2,000 a day. So um, that's only less than four cycles of food. Um, over here, let's see, I got this all expanded. So now we have three full lines of oxygen. This line goes straight into space. Um, and... Uh, what else did we do over here? Um, I'm just digging out more fossil. Um, it's kind of slow going because I've had other things queued up. The most important thing is right here. Um, we, I, yeah, I have 55 units of reed fiber, but that's down from like 98. So I need to get reed fiber going again. I just want to know, okay, up here, 81, down here, 65 73 so it's not even these that block it it just goes down as you go down the screen it gets less rad rads so these don't block any rads that that's kind of dumb because <clears throat> you know the solar light is radiation but okay um so this one is the one that we want to send to Chilani. It's actually ready to go, except for one thing. Enabling the Atmosuit checkpoint. I wonder why this is dead. Might be too cold? Oh, not enough air pressure. Hmm. What kind of air is in there? Oh, there's a tiny little blob of polluted oxygen. That's because there was polluted water here, and they just would not sweep this stuff that was in here until they made it all a priority nine. So we're going to go over here and start taming this. I'm actually not that excited to do that project, but um, but I guess we'll do it. Uh, what I really want to do is this project. I love collecting artifacts and seeing what's out there. <laughs> Um, so that'll probably be the focus. Uh, yeah, and I couldn't care. I mean, yeah, I do need refined iron, but like whatever. So here, I want to add. We're out of the kinds of food that don't go bad. 
So um, barbecue seems to go bad really fast though. So I'm just gonna add, you know, some food in here. Um, cooked food. Okay. And then um, we can go back into space. And of course I forgot to check this, but the ice is still there. So, and it erupts once every cycle in a bit, so. I'm just dumping the, I'm gonna dump the copper right into the environment and not worry about it. This has been dumping cobalt for quite a while. And you can see like it's still very cold everywhere. It's heated up a tiny bit, but even the cobalt is down to negative 20. And you know, this is still negative 60 pretty close by. So here, when this water runs out, I do have a backup. And here I put in, I extended this to cool these steam turbines and then get sent to the bristle blossoms. Um, these were self-cooled before and they actually were overheating. So it did get really hot inside here, hotter than we want it. Um, <clears throat> and I just realized like, I think I put this water to flow where the cobalt is flowing, the hot cobalt. So I'm gonna have to change that. <laughs> Oops. Because I'm pretty sure I put... We'll just build a pipe here for it. Um, if I go to shipping, you'll see... Yeah, the cobalt's going through there. So that water would heat up quite a bit, I would think. So... So, um... But I'm sure they'll have that built by the time we run out of water here, so... That'll be fine. We have three shine bugs in here now. So, but this won't fill up with water until this gets 50% full. So they need to pee a little faster. And this is dormant now, I think. Yeah, it just went dormant. Like a few, see, um, it just went dormant a, a couple cycles ago, one or two. And this here is dormant in it. We're going to run out of water here before we get this, um, before this erupts again. So that's kind of bad, um, but we'll see. Hope maybe we'll get down to this. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't figured out that one. Okay, so dig three. The question is, do we need to scrub these ones? And the answer is probably. Yeah. And then this one, we need them to have mechatronics. And I'm making sure they don't have any free skills so that if I scrub them, it'll screw up whatever I had going. Build 3 does have a free skill right here. But it's one I would give him anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna scrub. Um, okay, so we'll start with Build 3, who's at the top of the list. Um, yeah. And, uh, let's see. We do need to, um, this one, the water is already full. Actually, that's one thing to look at, too. So the water here, basically each of these tiles, each blob represents four duplicate days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got... No, there's no water in that one. So we've got 16 times 4. <laughs> 64. <laughs> um, divided by 3, because there will be 3 duplicates. So we've got 21 cycles worth of toilet water. This one might run out. I'm just going to not worry about it. Um, oh, they didn't... You know what? I kind of think barbecue. I didn't put it in the other one because it goes bad. It seems to go bad really quickly. Oh my god, all the food is stale. That's going to be bad, but what can you do? Nothing.
There's so much that should be done on this. Oh, it erupted and I didn't watch. Okay, this is a vacuum, so how did this cool down? Was it from the granite that's sitting there? Also, let's... Let's turn this off so they can't mess with it for a minute. I guess it must be from that granite, which heated up to 61. Uh, we missed it. And we're gonna miss it again, so it'll be like... right after the start of the cycle a little bit. Um, so over here, I should be making a plug slug habitat. I should be digging out all this iron. Um, I should be uh, mostly those two things, I guess. Um, but also like picking up all this hydrogen, I guess. Uh, I should make an infinite storage for the hydrogen. I just don't feel like doing any of that, you guys. I just don't feel like it. So. Okay, now this is ready except for this rotten barbecue. Uh, what concerns me is that the rest of it's gonna rot on the way, and like I said, I'm just gonna take my chances, man. I'm tired of dealing with this fucking shit. That's what it is. I am very tired of dealing with it. So, <clears throat> we can put plant meat too. Okay, um, here... Oh, the crew is fine. The destination we want here. We just need that food. I think we're ready to go. Um, there's some polluted dirt in here. Oh, God, and another rot pile. See, I told you. I'm just going to take out all the barbecue. And I'm going to tell them to sweep this stuff on a high priority. Okay, it's already on a high priority somehow. Um, yeah, how come it didn't... Oh, my sweep command is probably a mess. Barbecue. Rotten barbecue. <sighs> okay, hold on a second. Sweep. My sweep command was like everything was turned off except for Pintro. Okay, sweep all of that. Priority 9. All of it. <sighs> and this needs to be... yeah. We'll just get other food put in there. Our, um... Look at that, how much the calories... oh, that's the calories that are laying on the ground there. Um... So, that was 11 kilograms of barbecue. So we'll just get it... We'll just refill this. More importantly than sweeping this stuff, I guess, is filling this, but they will fill this. They will not sweep it unless I tell them, like, this is your absolute... Like, you've got to do this. So... Um, yeah, okay. Also, yeah, this is working. That's good. In a way, it's kind of bad because I didn't want to fill this with CO2, but I think this will delete it. Food has decayed, but hopefully it's not right here. Okay. <gasps> that is a nine errand, okay. And they haven't put any food in here, but they will. Build, what are you doing? You're just hanging out? Yeah, that's what he's doing. <sighs> Wait. He's not even the crew for this. And this is grounded. Oh, that's build three. Okay. Still. People are idle? How is that? There's, like, stuff to do. And no one's doing it. For some reason, um, they're not wanting to do, uh... Um, anything to do with Igneous? This should never stop. Oh, I bet it stopped because this was full of salt. I wonder if I put a sweeper and a salt storage, if that would work. Okay, let's do that. 
Actually, it might be good to just ship the salt over, but let's see if this works first. Um, oh, I got a new station. Well, yeah, I, I put in a clothing refashionator and I haven't used it. Um, so we can check that out. I completely forgot about it. Uh, yeah, we'll make this one out of gold. Um, and then this will store salt. And then down here, I just realized, oh, these haven't turned on, so that's why. Okay, here we go. So this is just sitting there. The temp shift plate is just sitting there. And these are not... This needs to reach a little bit further. And then this is going to flash instantly. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see it happen. I'm just trying to see how much copper is there. Okay, 70 kilograms on this tile of liquid copper. Oh man, okay. I missed watching it, so now it's going to be over here somewhere, 505, kind of um, towards the bottom of the uh, clock there. So the other problem, like I'm just letting the problems happen instead of preventing them, is that this is going to fill up. It doesn't work, because this is not sweeping the salt out of this. Darn. It was worth trying. I didn't think it would. It's a dupe operation, but... Oh, okay. Oh, they can't reach this. Okay. Okay, we're getting close to this erupting. Once this ice flashes, then the steam will instantly spread out, then this will flash. Hopefully there isn't too much molten copper. <laughs> this could be a total disaster. Wee. Okay, I made this stuff out of steel, so at least it won't melt. I made some of this rail out of cobalt, though. Here we go, rising pressure. Nine hundred. I thought copper melted at like six hundred. Oh, that's copper ore, probably. Here we go. Okay. The temperature's going up, but the volume isn't. <laughs> Over here, the volume's going up, but it's not flowing. Hmm. We might need to just drop a little bit of water right here. I didn't know that these just didn't flow. I mean, I know that about magma. Obviously, it did flow a little bit, though. To the left and right. It's not like visco gel. We need to wait until that spot right there is empty. You know what? No, we still want a bridge. Yeah. I could have done the bridge a long time ago. Okay. 
I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't mess things up. Hey, research complete. Okay, we can make a reactor now. This would be a great asteroid for it, but they don't need energy. They've got enough energy. More than enough. Oh, um... We can turn this back on. Damn it. One of my pet peeves about this game, it just happened. Why, if I have the energy, the power overlay, and I'm mousing over a wire, would it select the gas pump? Over here, what we're gonna do is... We're gonna send some of this water to space. Oops. And I gotta think, I think I'm gonna put infinite storage right here when I finally am bothered to do it. So... You know, it's just a matter of, like, trying to find the space for the pipes. Okay, this water is here. See, this copper, I think it did increase a little bit, wasn't it? Like, 61 or 67 before? Oh, we're erupting again. Okay, before I do water, let's just see if this doesn't... Ooh! It did. Look at that. It flashed and then saved. <laughs> Okay, now we've got steam over here, but not it's not over here. What the heck? What well, I don't even know what to make of this, so I'm just staring at it. What? Yeah. Okay, so there is steam over here. It's just not enough. I'm not going to worry about the auto sweeper right now. I'm just... Okay, is the um, ice changing temperature? Yes, okay. Oh no, the steam is changing temperature. Yes, the ice is changing temperature very slowly. This over here is a little bit less ice, so yeah, it's going faster. Holy crap. Okay, so we're not going to do this. And we'll worry about deconstructing it and all that once, um... <laughs> once, uh, this is dormant. Okay. So... Biggest flaw in the plan was not having. Oh, is this coming out super hot? Yeah. <laughs> I could turn it off, but it's fine. There's plenty of chill out here. Um, the ice, I guess, would need to be dropped right here on this tile so that um, it would flash, all of it would flash more quickly. And then when this erupts again, it's going to be bad if this ice isn't melted by then, which it won't be. <laughs> um... Yeah, see how cold it is over here in that liquid chlorine? It's like, not a problem. <clears throat> yeah, a few grams. I'm surprised these don't say not enough steam. Over here the chlorine is 60 something degrees. Hmm. So we might need to put a little more snow in here. Okay, um, let's check here. Alright. Uh, we got some more polluted dirt, but I think this is ready enough. <laughs> ready enough, here we come. Okay, we've got, um... 1100 calories, so that's about, what, 57 dupe days with three dupes. That would be, like, what, 17 cycles or something. 
I don't know, eight, eight, 19 cycles, 19 cycles. Um, so, and probably our food won't last that long anyway, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Oh wait, no, I have to skill scrub the last dupe, actually. Operator. Oh man, you guys, look what I did. I forgot about this, that I was eventually gonna have to filter. And now all of these have regular water in them. I was just coming over here to turn off some of the some of the bog buckets because we're making too much and it's going bad. But now I need to plumb. Uh, okay, that's kind of bad. Probably need to I either or I can put a filter right here just to filter this line. Mm -mm. Both of those options kind of suck. That needs to be filtered. But I guess I could put a filter maybe here. And then if it's water, it can just go into this um, pipe that comes out from the bathroom and it'll go into the this area first. That's fine. Oops. I wonder how I managed to do a mop command right there. And we've also got to probably go empty storage on every single one of these. Because I don't think it copies that. Ugh. Ah, uh, my mouse hand. Ah, uh, God. I just realized if I empty the storage before they plumb the line, it'll just fill with more polluted water. Okay, what are you guys doing in here? Why? Oh my god. What? Oh my god, okay. Okay, that is- I'm glad this happened, because that is a problem. Um, we're gonna have to put a couple suits in here. Oh no, not clothing. Just Atmos suits. And, like, I don't know, whatever. And then, over here... I had to store them here for a second, so... How much? They weigh 200. Okay. One, two, three. Just making sure, because sometimes they don't seem to show up correctly in there. Uh, so we need, uh, what? 200 times... Let's just do three. It's, this is like taking so long. Like I don't have time to record a really long episode, but nothing is happening. So uh, that's kind of frustrating. Oh my god. They're just stuck living in here. Oh, at least I ungrounded it by accident. Is this, is this why? Is this why they're coming in here? Because I ungrounded it by accident? Fuck. It's fucking stupid. Okay, get out. Oh my god. Now, now. Can they not get out because it's grounded? I just fucking... Storage, what are you doing? Go store something. Okay. Grounded. I ungrounded it to see how much food we had. 
Now we don't have any fucking food. Okay, this one's ready, ready, ready. Okay. So here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. Oh yeah, see it's just like I said. Liquid pipe is empty, but these reef these okay, good. So these ones can be emptied. Okay, so this one we set to um polluted water. Okay, if it's got polluted water, then... Oh. I didn't connect these. Okay, is this gonna work? Oh, shit. It is, except for one thing. These all need to be emptied. And I'm gonna turn this off until they are. Ah. Astronaut is going towards this ice asteroid field, so that's good. I wish I had focused on that this episode, and the copper, of course. Oh my gosh, let's check in on it. Okay, so now we've got full um, liquid here, and so I think it's okay to let them in to fix these. Um, yeah. And the liquid is up to 97 degrees. So, maybe not the smartest way to go about it, but it's the way that I went about it. Okay, so we got these emptied out except for the top row. Um, and... So let's see if this will work. Oops, oh fuck. I plugged in the wrong one. Ugh. So now they're gonna be all messed up again. Uh, why? Oh, I don't know. Okay, now some of these are gonna have water in them again. Uh. And then I can sweep all that water and that'll give them something to do. I don't have a place to sweep the polluted water though. Alright, let's sweep only water. And then we'll figure out the polluted water. Um, water, I think, can go. Nope, never mind. Water, sweep only. <laughs> um, and then. Uh, we can sweep up some of this- oops. Uh, how did that happen? Oh, you know what it is? This isn't gonna work. Because this has to always be able to flow. Why did this happen right here? I couldn't tell you. Because as far as I know, these are connected. <sighs> Why? What? Okay, I, I don't know, but I don't want to deal with it right now. I really don't. Well, I couldn't stand it yesterday, so I had to take a break. 
<laughs> and then today I decided to launch this and I would start recording when he got there, but of course I forgot he would start exploring the sky before he got there. So, um, research has picked up the artifact here and discovered this uh, planetoid. Um, and this is the water, the water <clears throat> planetoid. So, um, what I want to do is send him back um, to here and then go get this asteroid, uh, this artifact, and, you know, uncover, um, will it uncover this? No. But we'll uncover this, uh, and then land here, and then I think that'll be the episode. <clears throat> So for here, we're going to go back. And then um, over here, I fixed the water problem. Um, and it's something that I talk about all the time when I first start a colony. And I say, like, if you use one of those free or, or in this case, it was the cheap filter, not the free one. You have to have a continual output for both the thing you're filtering for and the thing you don't want. And I didn't have that. So there's two solutions. One is if you continue to use the cheap filter, I could have put like a spout here for the water to, um, <clears throat> you know, to be continuously outflowing. And the other solution is to put in a redundancy loop. <clears throat> so like over here, that's what I have right here. So if, if this gets, if, this is the main line, and if it gets full, it backs up to this secondary line, and if that is full, it sends a signal to the rusty oxidizers to turn off. So if this detects oxygen in there, these turn off because the pipe is full. So um, you, I could have done something like that. What I did instead was I just put on an, a filter. We've got plenty of energy over here. I probably could run these off of the volcano. Um, just put in a few more batteries for storage for when it goes dormant. Um, but, and then over here I'm just doing cleanup. Um, and I'm gonna put in um, a door here, one of these insulated ones, so I can kind of fill in this area and expand the water to the left. So we have a little more water storage. Um, and then I'm putting in some copper temp shift plates, um, cause that's kind of what I have. I ran out of diamond over here. Um, but this isn't registering my copper for some reason. Oh, there we go. So we only have enough for one, but I kind of want them over here too to spread the heat around. So, um, and then I'm just, uh... We filtered out most of the hydrogen from over here. That's not enough to turn this on. So I think the next step is to start getting it from here, especially now that the vent is turned off. Uh, and over here, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna rethink that. So the sulfur geyser, once it comes back on, puts out an average of just under 1.5 kilos per second. It's uh, like 1.4969. So it's just under 900 kilos a day. These are cycled. These take 10 sulfur per cycle. So that's enough for 90 grub fruit. So grub fruit is not very efficient um, because um, it takes up so much storage space. I think I turned off most of these because of our spaceship. So maybe I'll pause so I can, eh, it's fine. Um, it's not very efficient in terms of storage and we got plenty of food being made on the other asteroid. So um, I don't want to make 90 grub fruit, of course, but if I put in a stable, Damn it, these Drekos. I must have... I'm trying to wrinkle them, but it's not working. I must have gotten some eggs and forgot about them. So what I'm thinking is to put in a stable on this side. Um, and, you know, have the doors open so they can go over to the grub fruit. 
and then put uh, sulfur feeders inside the stables um, so that we can make more sugar. And I think that would be, um, I think that would help us a lot. I think that would solve a lot of the problems with the food going bad. Um, but I'm also over here putting in some meal wood, meal lice. And um, I've already queued this up to make pickled meal lice so that we can um, also feed that to our asteroids, uh, astronauts. <laughs> um, and then what I'm gonna do here, so they don't have to go all the way around to drop off the polluted water, I'm gonna put one of these right here and then all this polluted water, they can just dump in there. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, this can be deconstructed now and we can get to work kind of expanding this. Uh, right now it's fine, but I don't know if I talked about this, but I just put this in so that we could have more fish. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and just trying to get rid of... Uh, just make this a little bit more sensible. <laughs> Not that sensible is something that I've ever been or wanted to be, but... Yeah. Oops. Once this uh, is here, then uh, I'm just going to probably... I'll just turn this one off. Um, okay, so where is Skylab now? Okay, they're on their way. 1.3 cycles. Um, and if I check inside, he's doing okay. And um, as far as this other one, they can't keep up with filling this. Um, so, let's see. What do I have everything except... I guess we could do this one too. Cooked seafood. <laughs> I mean, there's Paku fillet. What's cooked seafood? Is that from... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Is that from the uh, dead... Uh, what the hell? It sounds familiar. I feel like I maybe I saw that on somebody else's thing. I don't know if the, if I need another date. So I put in the um, the new clothing station, and uh, it looks like these make their clothes have ten more decor than a snazzy suit. So the cost is one snazzy suit and three reed fiber. That's kind of a lot for ten decor. <laughs> Given that I'm always struggling to have enough reed fiber, we did get this farm going. Um, oh, let's get those eggs. Haha, <laughs> I got your babies. Um, but that doesn't mean like this reed fiber it just depends on how long there's still water here. So, um, oh, we got an achievement. Oh, perform a hundred tune-ups. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then over here, we got the decor going on. So that's nice. Um, so I guess right now I'm just... The main thing we're doing is wanting this to get filled up again. Oh, I probably shouldn't do meat stuff. Because that was the stuff that was rotting the most quickly. Um, I probably should research this stuff and see what takes the longest to rot. Oh yeah, you can have lice loaf. Um, I don't think there is any, but... And then I could just focus on cooking that. I wonder about omelets. Um... This is meat, so we'll get rid of it. I don't think there is any tofu, but what the heck. In real life, it lasts quite a while. Because mm. now, look, <laughs> I should have launched when I could, but then all their food just would have rotted. We're down to 51 kilo 
calories. And here, 59, because everything decided to rot at the exact same time. Um, so, oh. See, look here. I've already swept a whole bunch of polluted dirt. And um, there's already a bunch more. And I've got it going to these poke shells. So, we'll have something to eat. Um, okay, so just looking at this carbon dioxide thing, I could put another one here maybe. Uh, I just have to put in another filter. Um, so the idea is like this carbon dioxide is so dense that it's and it's a little bit hot so it's heating up everywhere. In here there's 8,000 calories even though this is full. Oh it's all lettuce. Whoa. Okay. So we don't want lettuce. So yeah, I don't know why in someone else's playthrough um, they got all the same artifact everywhere. We've gotten different ones. In space so far we've got this Moldavite and we've got the Grub Grub statue. And... oops. And whatever we just found. The teapot. Okay, so that's 10 cycles worth, or 11. And they just put a little more in there, apparently. Um, so I might just take off... Oh wait, wait, we gotta... We gotta check, um... This. Okay, and this. Okay, so this is fine. This can go. Right, let's make sure this is 10 tiles remaining. Okay. So our target will be there, and I'm just gonna do it. Oh, it's not fully fueled. Why not? Is that because of this being two different ones? Um, we're just gonna try it anyway. Oh, it's because of the oxygen. That's okay. We've got plenty of oxygen. We're only, we only have enough, um, food for 11 cycles, so that oxygen is fine. All right. Okay, and also... I forgot to sweep this suit. Maybe I'll remember to put that suit on him before he lands next time. Maybe not. All right, here we go. We'll have to watch him pretty closely. Yay! No, it's still encrusted. Uh, huh? Okay. I guess it's just encrusted. Alright, so I need to also build some... Oh, here's one right here. Alright. Select. We got 100,000. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take off. Okay, so this is gonna go to here. And... It's ready to go. And then let's take a look. Is anybody dying in here? How much food do you got? 20,000? Okay, and he's discovered another organic mass field. That makes three. <laughs> this is exciting. I've got most of the astronaut stuff set up over here um, on Soilano. 
let's check. We'll have to check this. Okay, how come there's only two suits? Okay, weird. There's an extra one right here. I don't know, but... Oh yeah, yeah, I had him drop off some extra suits. Okay, so speaking of deep freeze... Um, storage reminded me that. Food storage. I want to put food storage, like, here. Um, so we'll put in one of our doors and we'll open this up. And it looks like they're not dead yet, um, which is uh, something that I had been working on. So the radiation could be a problem. I had to kind of do weird, not enough protection to have space. This is not very efficient, by the way. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wasted spots. So, um, it's not necessarily the best uh, configuration, but... Okay, so we've got everything looked at. So now, um, I'm just gonna send him back. I, I know the data banks, but I don't care. There we go. So here on Soilano, the only thing I think I need to set up is... Because um, I've got the oxygen. This is petroleum. Oh, I gotta turn on the petroleum. And then the water, I wasn't sure where it went exactly, so... And I didn't feel like figuring it out. Okay, so for the petroleum, I'm just missing a bridge. I left it incomplete because I didn't want to pump over a bunch of petroleum and just, you know, who knows. They've landed. So the first thing is, I gotta make this not grounded. Okay. Chilani. So this, I pre-dug the, I pre-queued this so we could, um, so I would remember where the ladder's gonna go. Uh, but if I dig that out, they won't be able to get down. So the first thing we'll do is one of those. Also, look at this depleted uranium. Apparently this melted the uranium that was close by. Um, and then the other thing we're going to start doing is... I brought a whole bunch of glass. So we could put in solar panels, but I don't know if that far tile will be in the light. So these are going to go like this. I calculated it and everything. So I'm gonna need uh, and then I'm gonna put like um, protection underneath them for when you walk underneath. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of digging and stuff. I don't know if they can reach any of these. And then I also brought copper ore to do the wire because uh, okay, so here This is just going to go all the way down, but somewhere in here I need to put in a door. Because I don't really want the atmosphere down here. We might need some atmosphere. So, I don't, I don't know. Um, but they are all going to get um, space poisoning. <laughs> Let's see, how much... Oh, uh, just a sec. Um, we want to know how much raw mineral we have here. Not very much. So we gotta do some digging as well. Um, let's just start. I don't want to dig this tile because they can reach that. So then, okay, let's see. So here we're gonna need Okay, so here they can put in their shield. I don't think they'll be walking. You know what? This is fine. They're not going to be walking over here. So on this, the only metal ores are uranium and wolframite. I don't mind building stuff out of the uranium, but um, there wasn't enough of it to make this door. Uh, wolframite we're going to take back with us. 
There, so that's blocking a lot more. See, it's mostly safe. This doesn't block any. So I'm gonna put in an extra, some extra shielding over this ladder. I should have put an extra one here, apparently. I think they still can reach that. Also, the uranium... Oops. Um, the actual uranium metal might be giving off some too, I'm not sure, before it's dug. If it does that. Okay, there we go. So they're mostly not going to go over here very much. So I'm just going to leave it and we can focus on this and just keep a close eye. As far as our other guy, I wonder if I should put his suit on yet. Okay, so they are taking their red pills, that's good. So what I discovered on... I did like a little test on this... Uh, I'll have to check that in a sec. On this um, spaceship, and he is getting um, just barely more rads per day than what the toilet gets rid of. So, um, it's like pretty much safe, but he's mostly, well, but the, I guess these guys over here are going to get more because they're going out, right? They're going out of this. I need to put the batteries in an atmosphere because they'll overheat. Um, hopefully I brought enough, like I calculated how much wire, but I don't trust it. I also don't know if they can get to these wires here. I better go like this, in case I put a floor over there. Okay, so some of this is not reachable. We'll, I'll just see once they build it. Okay, so as far as batteries... Um, I'll dig something out like here, maybe. And then we'll have to put in a joint plate. Maybe like that. So he's back, and I'll go ahead and uh, remove that. And then we need to put in the water. And oh, here comes the here comes that. And I actually shipped over a bunch of fertilizer so they could fill this. And yeah. Good to go. We'll be good to go. Okay, so here I will go ahead and send the artist. And then on Suilano, before we go research anything more, but I did say like this was going to be the end anyway of this episode, but we do have um, two volcanoes we can analyze. Of course, they're both active, so <laughs> it could be painful. <laughs> But I'm gonna have him analyze them anyway. Uh, so we'll um, get those analyzed. We'll get. We'll get this um, going. Okay, good. Wow, they're doing everything pretty fast. Um, let's see. What do we want? Where's this gonna come down? This looks easy. And then that'll have to go across like this. Battery, battery, battery. All right. Artist, unequipped suit. I'm gonna have to put suit storage over here as well, just cause, um, we'll put it here. 
because there's two suits in here that they need to sweep up. And then this one I need to make sure I just got some grub fruit through the teleporter. I need to make sure pickled meal is selected here. Um, and maybe I'll unselect the other stuff. What's what's in here? Gristleberry and grub fruit. Okay, I'll just I won't unselect gristleberry just because it'll just fall on the floor and rot, but Okay, the only thing they don't have over here, I didn't send any rad pills, but I think it'll be okay. And I only have one extra Atmos suit here. I've been sending them other places, so we'll make some of these. Well, wow, that's interesting. They changed the, uh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wow. Okay. I never noticed that before. Oh, cool. Hey, and our artist is already working on our new thing, which I didn't even look at what it was. Oh, you know what, though? If we get vacillator recharges over here... Oh, there is one. Okay. Okay, she... Oh, modern art. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. We put a pedestal right here for our new modern art. That's going to look so beautiful. And our pipe is done. And everything looks perfect. And we just need to fill this up. Hopefully the fertilizer got shipped. But we can check. Not there. Fertilizer. Okay. It did get checked. So, um, I just want to see this. There we go, everybody. Isn't it beautiful? Apparently it is. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Futani M. I need to look at this achievement, and then that'll be it. Have a duplicate with masterwork skill paint a masterwork quality painting. I don't know about whether that's what actually happened, but okay. Oh. This isn't working. <sighs> okay, wait. I thought we were ending, but... There's no water in here anymore. Okay. Interesting. It's at 127. Now, over here, it should be falling. It's at 80. Hmm. It's a little hotter than what I want. Actually, it's probably fine. Let's go here. I should have swept all this other crap out of there. Seventy-five. Yeah, because this whole area is too cold. So I'm okay with it. I should counterflow it on this cooling loop. But I didn't. So by the time it gets here, it's still 70. That's kind of bad. But... What's really bad... <laughs> is... Okay, it looks like brine, but it's sulfur. Oh man. Okay, 
don't know how to solve this. So that, unfortunately, will be next episode. But, um... Okay, now the sulfur is coming out. Look, 27. There was just too much of it at first. Yeah, a tiny bit of it is cooling really fast. Awesome, so that part is working. This part is a big oopsie. Is it even going down? Yeah, okay, the amount is going down. So we'll have to see. <laughs> Until then, guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Photon EM. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Ah!